And now the challenger is coming down the aisle. This crowd is giving him a tremendous ovation as he climbs into the ring. No doubt about it, this lad is the most popular heavyweight contender in a long time. And there's drama behind those cheers, too. The drama in the lives of these two men that has finally brought them together in this ring tonight to battle for the heavyweight championship of the world. Fifteen rounds of boxing for the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing at 212 pounds, the champion, Colt Mason. <laughs> thousand people all hating just one man if they only knew it isn't him they ought to hate it's me because there was a time you couldn't find a soul who didn't think he was the sweetest guy on earth and then something happened to change all that i fell in love with him people can fall in love any place even in coal town pennsylvania falling in love is supposed to make you happy but somehow, in cold town, it only made things worse. Because I was trapped. Trapped like everybody else in town. Trying to figure a way out, knowing they'd never make it, and hating it. Like Alex Malik. Or just resigned to it. Like Pete Costco. Or waiting for that one big break. Like his son, Tommy. All of them trapped in the endless monotony of the mines never knowing from day to day when the trap might shut on them for good, and still not being able to do a single thing about it. All except Coke Mason. He was different. He'd have gotten out. He'd have made it someday, his way. If only I'd let him. your drill. Why? On account of I tell you, that's why. What are you, a wise guy? Nope. You're looking to get your nose broke? I'm looking to get some work done, do you mind? Why you do this thing? Coke does nothing to you. You are wrong. Okay, so I'm wrong. I don't like the guy. I don't like you, understand? That's gonna worry me a lot. Honor! All right. Hey. Let's go eat. for trouble. <laughs> trouble from him? He's too good for trouble. Too good for mine and too, ain't you, Einstein? That book gonna teach you how to move coal? Moving coal ain't the only way to make a living. What's the matter a fellow want to get out of the mine? This country, everybody got a chance to make himself what he wants. My Tommy want to get out too. That's why I sent him to night school. Learn to be optimist. My glass is good trade. So's this. Mm -hmm. Maybe Coke show you how to move coal, Alex. Him? Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to make a little bet, huh? Yeah. How about it? Ten bucks I move more the next shift than you do. Put up or shut up, Alex. Yeah, yeah put your money where your mouth is. Come on. Okay, Einstein, you got yourself a bet. Get a stick. Let's go, go! Hi! 
How's the family? Got four new ones. Four? Trixie, my dog. Oh. Got four new puppies. <laughs> All with black spots. I'm gonna kill that firehouse dog. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. Ah, it's a fine boot. Very well made. Built like a tire. I'll take that with me. Right. Oh, pull it a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. There. Here you are. Charge them. Okay. Ich den Eier, Miss Warren. More gasish. <laughs> Dirty face. Hi. Those mine? Mm -hmm. Four of them came in. Want them all today? Yeah. Yeah, all of them. Cash today. Oh, really? Want to bet. Where? Up there? Oh, no, no. Down there. Moving coal. I'm almost too tired to take you out tonight. I said almost. I'll pick you up as soon as I change. I can't. Tonight, Coke inventory till 10 or 11. Don't be silly. I'm going to propose to you. You did that last week. So I'll do it again. I like what you said. I didn't say yes. She said maybe. Herbie, okay. Tell him you're sick and I'm the doctor. I wish you'd tell that brother of yours. He's making entirely too much noise upstairs. Tell him yourself. It's your building. Say, about the inventory. Could Rose bow out of that tonight? Of course not. And if you don't tell him, I'll give him notice to vacate. Why? You knew why he rented the place. I did not. He said it was to be a club, a social club. Now, now that's why he moved in three pool tables. Uh, about the inventory. Please speak to him, Coke. Sometimes I think they're coming right through the ceiling. Okay. Wrap nice and pretty, huh? George, I'll take 10 to 5 on Madigan tonight in the semifinals. How about it? I'll give you 8 to 5. You're lucky to get it. Madigan may dump that palooka in three rounds. Back him up, Pete. Yeah. Yeah, 6 at Belmont. Okay. Oh, okay. Just a guy I want to see. What? Oh, all right. I'll wait. Photo, be right up. I got one here. I got one for you. Herbie's unhappy about the noise. Oh, forget Herbie. He's always beefing about something. What? Oh, no, you're breaking my heart. And the in a photo. Make his choice. Ten on the show. I told him down, George. Herbie can make trouble. Herbie can make trouble. You should see what Enderelda just did to me. Hey, you got 20 on Monday? Again? All right, so are you 20. How much? Why does it bother you? Oh, but I No, just... but maybe you'd like to forget that I wiped your nose when hungry to feed you. Is that it? I didn't say that. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I mean it. Uh, you shouldn't be, kid. Anything I ever did for you, you paid off right down the line. Oh, shut up. How about some handball tonight? What, no Rosie? No, oh, inventory. Okay, handball. I'll pick you up around eight. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, the seventh at Belmont. Ten to win, ten to place on clean away. He is not. He's as clumsy as a bull elephant. Everything he does is wrong. <laughs> yeah, everything wrong, but he wins. That's what amazes me. Hello, Alex. Joe. Hello, Donut. Hi, boy. What do you say? That's a quick four bits, you'll be George. Wanna try it again? Okay, Tommy, you gotta bet. Double or nothing next game, huh? Right. Next game, you guys gonna play all night? We got one more, relax. Oh, quit hogging the court. You got four men waiting here. Only we ain't waiting. They got another game, Alex. They only played one. Ask Crowley. I don't have to ask anybody. I'm telling you. Get off the court. What's wrong, Alex? You doing a burn over the ten bucks you lose to the kid? How'd you like a poke in the nose? Forget it. We didn't come here to argue. 
Yeah, and that goes for you, too. <laughs> Come outside and make a break out. Yeah, you and who else? I'll fight him. Guess that's what he wants. How soon and where? Just a minute. If there's going to be any fighting here, it'll be in the ring and I'll referee. That suits you, Coke? Okay, come on, let's go. You know, I'm going to be doing this professional pretty soon. The old man wants me to be an optimist, like he calls it, but not for me. Fighting's my trade. You going to win, Alex? <laughs> okay, Tommy, I'll take over. Tommy's my second. No, no, Speed, Speed O'Keefe. I'm going to be a fighter. I'm going to get right. myself a match. Speed, come on. We'll talk about it later. Now, let's keep it clean. That's all. Shake hands. Come out fighting. Come on. Come on, Alex. Let's go. Relax, kid. Contain yourself. <laughs> Here it comes. Come on, Alex. Don't wait for him. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Money to eat here? Yeah, on the kind of I'm fresh out. Money? I'm loaded. Oh, the last at Belmont, ten to win and ten to place with my money. Belmont? Oh, that dog? No, he ran out. No, I bet you tonight, kid. I take three to one on a knockout and garner a sweet 90 bucks. You bet on me against Alex? Remember when we left the handball cart? <laughs> I did real good. Your table is ready, Mr. Mason. Ah, oh, fine, Charlie. Go ahead, boys. Some of them are vanity, honey, huh? It's a big table, isn't it? Well, why not? It's going to be a big party. Wine, Charlie. Uh, domestic, but with bubbles, huh? And char up three steaks. We'll take care of the heat department. Relax, fellas. Oh, no, you might as well start now as any time. Start what? Training. Oh, here we go again. Look, kid, I've been trying to tell you for a long time. You're going to be a fighter, a great fighter. Forget it. I've been forgetting it long enough. Tonight, we start thinking about it. Serious. Kid, you got a million dollars wrapped up in those two hands. A million. He's right, Coke. You got a lot to learn. You do a lot of things wrong. But you got the one thing nobody can learn. The thing only the great ones have got. You're a killer. I'm a miner. And I'm gonna stay a miner. Maybe someday I'll have a radio store, but until radio then... Radio schmadio. That's for kids. But if you really want it, okay. I'll show you how to get it. Why, in six months, I'll have you doing semifinals at seven, eight hundred dollars a crack. In one year, seven, eight, well, maybe ten thousand for a main goal. And you'll buy yourself a store, you'll put your name on the window, and Rose can sit behind the cash register. It's as simple as that. No kidding, Coke, you're a natural. You ought to see what you did to Alex's eye and his nose. Tommy, so. drink your wine, huh? What about Alex? Oh, you beat him up a little. What did you expect? Bad? Well, no. Well, not exactly. good, not for Alex. I didn't know that. But I do know this. I'm not gonna do it again. Not to Alex or anybody. If that bothers you, give me my 20 bucks and I'll blow. Okay, kid, if that's the way you want it. What are you gonna do, take Rosie to a late movie and uh, hold hands? I just might do that. And uh, maybe you better talk it over with Herbie, huh? Excuse me a minute, Herbert. 
Hello, Coke. Tommy, George. Hi, Ruth. What are you doing here? I'm taking inventory. Oh, now, it so happens I was working tonight. Were you? Yes. We finished early, and Herbie thought it would be a good idea. A but... very good idea. Well, I know you two want to fight alone. Come on, Tommy. I'm straight. Can't you call me Speed? Okay, champ. Send up a flare if you're in trouble now. Don't you believe I was working? Does it matter what I believe? Well, you know it does. What's the matter with your eye? Nothing. All right, so I believe you were working. You take it from there. Well, we finished early. Herbie suggested some food. So you went to the chop suey joint on Main Street, only the tea was cold. No, Coke. That was last Saturday night. And the Saturday before. It was every Saturday night for the past year with you. Oh, look, Coke, I don't blame you. You work hard for your money, and you're trying to save it. For us, I know that. But can't you see it from my angle just a little bit? I've never even seen the inside of this place before. Or any other place like it. So tonight, I had the chance, I took it. A few lights for a change. Is that really so bad? You want to go to joints like this? I can take you. Sure, and what do we use to start the radio business, Cole? All right, you win. So now we've both seen the place. So now let's go back and get some chop suey, huh? What about Herbie? Herbie will understand. Dope. Mr. Mason, your guests. Hello, you gorgeous hunk of man. Did uh, I draw you, honey bun? If this is a gag, it isn't funny. I think it is. I think it's very funny. Good night, honey bun. Hello, Tilly girl. You too, Billy. Hey, Gwendolyn, contain yourself. Come on, you with me. You mean I don't get muscles? <laughs> Nice going, brother. You really lost the evening in a hurry. What, you mean you don't like Tilly? You know what I mean. Oh, Rose. <laughs> don't worry about her. Where's she gonna run to? But if you're really unhappy, I'll square things for you. Leave it alone. You are divine. I know, but I'm in training. <laughs> in training? <laughs> for what? <laughs> Give me a couple more sticks. You're shooting pretty heavy, Alex. I said, give me a couple more sticks. I'm shooting what I like. Hey, Alex. About that eye. I'm sorry. Yeah? Well, let me tell you something, mister. I can still lick you if you fight like a man, but not when you fight like some kind of animal. I guess I lost my head. Yeah, well, it's too bad you found it. Give me them sticks.
மீத Pete, you're not in the mind. Hey, Pop, be quiet, will you? Thanks for the books. Tell Herbie I'll pay him as soon as they give me back my pants. They're all paid for. They're my get well present. Paul, go step see that easy. Well, hiya, Jeff. How's it going? Okay, I got a surprise for you. Pretty, huh? <laughs> I wanted a lilies, but they didn't have any. <laughs> you're a screwball. How much did it set you back? Oh, a moderate sum. They keep those ribbons in stock. Husband, brother, beloved son. You're not funny. I know, but I try. Well, how's it going? All right. You're going to let me out in three days. Wow. Hey, hey, light one for me, will you? Oh. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Look, kid, you're in training as of now. This time I mean it. The road, the gym, the works. I figured I'd have you ready for your first go in about four weeks. George has an idea I'm a fighter. I have an idea he's crazy. For two reasons I got that idea. First, on account of you very seldom buy one of these for a fighter. Second, money. Ten, fifteen thousand one year, maybe twenty if you're lucky. Then you kids can get that radio store. A big one in Philadelphia. That's a lot of money. Oh, honey, those are just some telephone numbers he dreamed up. Don't listen to him. Telephone numbers, huh? Look at here. Ridgewood Palace, October 3rd. Four round preliminary, fifty dollars. Oakdale Grove, October 29th. Four rounds, fifty dollars. November 20th, Scranton Arena, seventy-five buffos. Is that better than moving coal? I don't get it. Fights I booked for you. I got all three of them without even leaving the pool room over the telephone. I tell you, kid, I got connections. All you got to do is the fighting, which he does very nicely. Well, you happy? No. I'm not going to fight, George. I'm not going to fight, George. Uh, have it your own way. Well, I guess you kids want to get in a little smooch in time, huh? Get well, now. I'll drop your line when I get to New York. New York? Or Chicago. Anyway, I'm getting out of here in the morning. There's no future in coal town for me anymore. Or for you, only you're too dumb to see it. What about the pool room? No, there's no future of that either, especially since they've taken back the tables. Be good now. They really take out his pool tables? Uh-huh. This morning. Oh, 
Jokers are very hard to fight. I mean, in the ring. But it's just that it, well, it seems like so much money. And so quickly. You've been talking to George? No, I... Well, he said something about it. I didn't pay much attention. I just wondered... Look, Rosa. I, I don't know how to make you understand, but... I don't want to fight. I mustn't fight. It's like Alex said. I'm not a man anymore. I'm like an animal when I fight. I want to kill. And that's what's bad. And that feeling comes over me, and I, I can't stop it. And if I had a club or something but in my George hands... George said I... that was the thing that you had that was so great. The, the killer instinct. Like Dempsey, you like... You have been talking to George. No, Coke. Honest, I didn't. He talked. But couldn't... Maybe he'd be right. Look, Coke, he wouldn't have to do it forever. A year is all, two at the most. And we'd have all the money we need. The way it is, we'll be old and gray before we ever have anything. With you down in the mines every day and me wondering... I just... I just don't know how long I can stand it, Cole. Keep your hands high, way up. So law says I have to hit that thing? No, but it's fun. Socket it in fast and hurt. Doesn't it give you a lift? No. Nice boat, Jack. Here, let me hold it. Save it, kid. Use them tomorrow night. You been working out the ring? No, it's booked solid. Yeah. Okay, Bowden, wrap it up. We want to use the ring. Hey, Philly, you want to work out with my boy? I'll work out with him. Oh, save it, kid. Save your hands. You're going to be an optimist, remember? What do you say? Sure. Good. Since when you give an order to my fighters? Well, Jojo, just the man I want to see. Come on, get in there, kid. I hear you laying even money. Jackie knocks out Coke tomorrow. I'll take 20 of that. Are you crazy? I'll give five to your 20 and no better. All right, Jackie, hit the shower. Even money of my boy with a cracked rib. A cracked rib? And dry yourself off good. Thanks for the information. Come on, box are pretty now, kid. Plenty of footwork, eh? Four rounds of boxing in the white corner at 212 pounds from Coal Town, Coke Mason. In the black corner, weighing 215 pounds from Ridgewood, Jackie Bowden. Both know the rules. Don't nobody break them. Shake hands now and come out and fight. Just his head, kid. Keep away from his belly now. Go ahead, hunting. On the car, Jack, he's got a cracked rib. I got him. He's got a weak jaw. Do you think I fell for that cracked rib? Oh, you can take it in the belly all night. Only the head, kid. You hear me? Where's Rose sitting? She's all right. She's all right. Remember what I said. Go after his head. Take it easy, Sam. Feel him on the first. See what he's got. <laughs> Boy doesn't go. Twenty to ten. You got twenty to my ten. Thank you. 
again and I'll throw you out on your ear. Do you hear me? How is it? He's all right, but what about that foul? How do you feel, kid? Can you go on? It's just that Coke is off balance, Rose. It happens sometimes. Why, it could happen to anybody. How'd you like the way the champ dropped Jackie? Killer, huh? He's got murder in both hands. Where's George? Oh, he's talking to the matchmaker. I'll get him. Well, how'd you like it? Well, I... I don't like to see you get hurt. But it's exciting when you win. They were booing me, weren't they? Oh, don't worry. They'll stop. You just keep winning. They'll start cheering. But they didn't start cheering. Oh, he was winning, all right. And he was drawing the crowds, too. But they didn't come to see him win. And they didn't come to cheer him. I wouldn't walk across the street to see Buddy Blaine fight, but to see Coke Mason get his lumps, I drove 60 miles tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Fast, aren't you, George? Six-round bout and only three months in the trade. Well, why not? We want a crack at the title this year. <laughs> Coke Mason's our local bad boy. What's bad about it? You'll find out. Hey, George, I want you to meet Mr. Watkins, New York examiner. Well, Max Watkins? I read your column every day. Never miss it. Glad Thank to know you. you, and I'm glad you're here. I want you to see the next champ in action. I expect to in the main event. <laughs> $310. I can hardly believe it. Instead of paying off and booing, we'd be millionaires. Yeah, I know you don't like that. Well, how do you like it? All right, Coke, I know. But I know something else. In a year from now, we'll be out of this place. We'll be married and have our own home. And begin to live like human beings. You're doing your best. You want them to like you. No, you wouldn't know. Come here. Come here. In one year, one year from now, we'll have a store like this in Philadelphia. Our store, all paid for in cash. That's not too much to ask, is it? I know, Mr. Melio. I, I know he is. I know some fellas that can tell you. But believe me, he won't draw flies if you put him in there with Blaine. Here, here, read this. I read them. They all say your boy stinks. Max Watkins says he's the dirtiest fighter he's ever seen. That's why he pushed the state champ out of the headlines, huh? Coke Mason outdid himself in gutter tactics like... Yeah, they really like him. Well, well, did they have to? Hmm? So they come to see him get killed. Yeah, and against Savella, that's exactly what happens. Thanks, no, I don't like murder. Uh, with a full house, is murder bad? This Coke Mason is your brother or your brother-in-law? Which? <laughs> Hiya, hi. Hi, Tony. Joe, Hiya. this is George Mason. He's got that Coal Town pump, the flat and Loomis. Joe Savella, the guy you want to fight? Hi, I'm Riley, his manager. Oh, good to know you. Good to know you, Riley. I'm glad you dropped in. Maybe we can wrap the deal up this afternoon. 
What deal? Well, a fight with your boy now that Gardo's canceled out. The Coke Mason's a natural. Who's Coke Mason? Who's Coke Mason? Read what Max Watkins has to say about him. That's a syndicated column, 352 newspapers. So that makes your boy a fighter, eh? <laughs> you better come back in about five years. Were you able to get Patty Keller for us? No, no dice. He ain't ready. Well, what about Madigan? Same with Madigan. I was figuring Buddy Blaine. Coke Mason. But... Dirty boy, huh? Likes to play rough. A little too rough for you, maybe, but they'll ask him to take it easy. <laughs> How much did Blaine draw at the Ridgewood? Yeah. Blaine didn't draw flies. They came to see Coke Mason. Look, we can work this deal out on a percentage. A deal that'll protect you and at the same time get Coke in the ring with Savella. Now, the way I see it. He's finding your head with every punch. I know. Like we did in the gym, Coach. Why don't you do as I tell you? You got the seventh coming up. I told you to dump him in the fifth. Ain't I trying? I hit him with everything but you. No, try harder. Keep punching to the head. Overmatched him, George. Wrap it up, Kenny. Toss it in, George. Please, George, you'll kill him. to give any post-mortems, but after 20 years of writing about the fight game, I think I qualify as an expert. So here's three words of advice. Give it up. I don't know where you got the idea you could fight or who put the idea in your head, but you just haven't got it, son. If you're lucky, some boy with a hard ride will kill you before you've been around too long. If you're lucky. So long, Coke. I hope I never see you again or read about you in the sports pages. I thought you'd never throw in that towel. Listen, kid, you can take it or leave it, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. For what? You seen yourself in a mirror? All right, so it's my fault. Hungry for a buck, so I match you with Savella. Never again. Watkins was right. Neither one of us belong in this racket. And as of now, we're out of it. Tonight. You sure of that, George? I am. I lived a hundred years tonight. I thought I'd die before it was over. I don't want you to do it anymore, Coke, not ever. Listen, kid, this is George talking, your big brother, remember? He knows all about you. He knows what happens when you get hit. You don't even know when you're getting cut to pieces. 
And I was ready to cash in on that. Tonight I learned a funny thing. Blood's thicker than water. Especially when it's all over your brother's face. Pull over. I said pull over. I want you to hear this. <laughs> this, this is very funny. All of a sudden you're worried about me getting hurt. And all the time I've been worried about hurting the other guy. I'm not worrying anymore. They were screaming for Savella to kill me tonight, weren't they? They'd have liked that. All right, I'll give them something to scream about. Maybe it'll take a little time, but I'll catch up with Savella, and I'll catch up with the champ, too. Then they can really scream. If you want to go along with me, that's great. What do you say? I'll have it your way, kid. Why do you listen to him? Why do you agree with him? No. 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 Call it any way you like, Rose, but if you're going with me, you're going all the way. All the way. I went all the way. I knew by then that I was wrong. That I'd been wrong all the time. That I'd gotten out of one trap and fallen right into another. Because by now it had become a grim contest between Coke and the hatred of the crowds. Four rounds in Wilkes Bear, four rounds in Jersey City, and four more stitches over Coke's eye. South to New Orleans, following the roads that lead past the arenas. They came to see him get hurt, and he never disappointed them. But he was winning, and the crowds were getting bigger all the time. And the hate that followed him was something you could almost reach out and touch. I knew he couldn't take that kind of hate without having something happen to him. Sometimes his face looked almost like a stranger's, and I'd get sick with fear, wondering when his heart would be a stranger's too. It was worse when Speed started fighting. Speed always fought clean, and the crowds loved him and cheered themselves hoarse for him. How I wished some of those cheers could have been for Coke. But it was Coke's name that made the copy in the headlines, and by the time he caught up with Savella in Chicago for a second fight, Coke was big time news. You can quote me as saying Coke Mason will take Savella in five. And that's official. Can you make it in one? I, I like to get home early when I work. You like to get home <laughs> early, eh? How about that? Hello, George. Hi, George. Well, girls, how are you? It's time. Well, who can we have? Hello. Ready? How are you? Look, there's Coke Mason. Boo! Boo! Hey, what's all the booing about? In my book, this is the nicest hunk of man that ever stepped into the ring. And you know something funny? I'm not kidding. Hey, Coke, I've got a wonderful idea for a picture. Yeah? You tossing these dames out the window. Fan, huh? Mm -hmm. I didn't know I had one. Photographer, too. How come? How come fan or how come photographer? Either one. It's a long, tedious story. How about a drink? Oh, sure, what would you like? <laughs> we'll keep that a secret, but I'll take a sidecar. Max here doesn't think I can take Savella. Oh? Oh, you know my wife. Oh, yes, yes, of course. How are you, Mrs. Mason? Here. Thank you. Rose is Miss Ford. Hello. How do you do? <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm waiting for a sidecar. <laughs> Speed, I see you're finding a semi-wind-up on the same card with Coke. That's right, Mr. Watkins. Keep it up, Speed. Maybe someday you'll be in there with him. No, thanks, Mr. Watkins. Speed, baby. How about showing me the city lights from the terrace? Oh, I would, only I'm in training and all that night air. Oh, I... for goodness sake. <laughs> Did uh, Coke ever tell you I advised him to quit after the first Savella fight? Yes. So did I. Why, Mrs. Mason? Why? Because I love him. I want to keep on loving him. Uh, tell me, Max, how come you picked Savella in your column? Well, because I don't believe Savella slipped too much or Coke has come up far enough. Of course, I could be wrong. You are. I can take Savella and he knows it. Well, frankly, it doesn't make that much difference. He's right, Coke. It does. Taking Savella means a shot at the champ. Why doesn't that count with you anymore? Coke, we've got $11,000 in the bank, in spite of what George spends. 
Let's get our radio store. It isn't the money. I've told you enough times. Not the money, it's the title. That's what I want, and that's what I'm going to get. Coke. Then will you quit? Uh, Mr. Mason, the phone, please. Excuse me. Sure, all fights are a gamble. Now, Mrs. Mason. This is Herb Riley. How soon can I see you? See me? Oh, this is Coke, Mason. Yeah, no, no, I guess you want my brother. Wait a minute. Don't quote me on this, but if we take Savella, which we will. Hey, George, telephone. I wouldn't be at all surprised if you saw a championship fight in six months. <laughs> Herb Riley wants to talk to you. Oh, Riley, huh? Maybe Savella's getting cold feet. Yeah. Yeah, Riley, this is George. George, I gotta have the dough and I gotta have it quick. Well, I just haven't got it, Riley. Then go out and raise it. There's gotta be somebody you can go to. Well, uh, there might be one place. I didn't want to try, but I will. Okay. Uh, come on down, Will. We'll talk it over. Yeah, Riley, I'll be right down. What's the matter? Something wrong? Oh, no, no. It's just about the percentages. Don't say anything there. I'm all straightening out. Don't lose me this fight. I want Savelle. Even if we have to take peanuts, I want Savelle. Quit worrying, will you? You'll get him. Hey, Speed. Yeah? Help Coke pour for the guests, huh? Have you spoken to Coke about it? To Coke? Why, he'd blow his top in ten directions. He figures he can take Savelle. Well, don't you? Nothing's that sure in this racket. Rose, you know that. The thing is that if Savella throws the fight, we get a shot at the title. Look, Mrs. Mason, George agrees with me. In the fight business, what you figure don't count, unless it's with an ad machine. Maybe, maybe Coke takes my boy legitimate. Maybe he don't. And maybe he gets his brains knocked out, all to no purpose. George can tell you that Savella's ruined a lot of good boys. You don't have to tell me that. That's the only reason I'm listening to you at all. What happens if we win over Savella? What do you mean, what happens? I just told you. A crack at the title, that's what. What happens then? Well, what are you worried about, Rose? Didn't Coke promise to quit after he wins the title? Coke can take Savella without a payoff. He can. And you know it. Then why are you offering to let Savella throw the fight? All right, Mrs. Mason. Supposing there's an outside chance that Coke can win. It'll go the limit. And when it's over, neither of those boys will ever fight again. They'll be ruined. Beat to death. Sure, Savella's over the hill. But if I rate him along easy like, he's got two, three more years of fighting left in him before I gotta throw him away. Does that make sense? Well, not at 15,000. But say, 12,5. Say 10, Mr. Riley. And you might have yourself a deal. Thanks, champ. Thanks a lot. As soon as I change, I'll be down at your corner. Same league with you. You're punchy. Coke's a champ. In another year, I'll have the title to prove it. Nice fight, Speed. Congratulations. Thanks, Mr. Watkins. Thanks a lot. Look at the way Coke works. Isn't he wonderful? No.
come back a long way, George. Send them back even further. Well, they don't get careless. Rate them along till about the fifth. By then, he ought to be tiring. Dirtiest, roughest fighter that ever stepped into the ring. Still, that knockout needs explaining. And it's your contention that you know nothing of any arrangement by which Savella agreed to lose. Agreed to lose? I can take Savella today, tomorrow, any day in the week. If there's any doubt in your mind or in here. All right, Mason, that's enough of that. You're not in back of some saloon. I've been in saloons where the air was a whole lot sweeter than it is here. This stinks, and you know it stinks. Maybe I'm not the kind of fancy damn fighter that Watkins likes, but if he says we bought this fight, he's a liar. And you can write that. I will write it, because I think you believe every word you said. Is it a lie you spoke to Herb Riley at your hotel last week, that you sat with him in the bar and discussed a deal? That I spoke with him? No. That I discussed a deal with him? That's a lie, yeah. Look, could I say something? What is it? Three ribs cracked. Riley's got the x-rays. If I took a dive, I sure timed it bad. I'll drop you off at the hotel, then I'll... Better come up to the place. hotel with me. Well, later. I, I, I want to make sure the newspapers get the right slant in this story. I want to use those x-ray pictures and nail this thing down solid. I said come up with me. Everything's under control, children. Relax. They cleared you. I knew they would. That's great, champ. Did you tell them all? What about the purse? Oh, I pick up the check this afternoon. Then we fly down to New York and see what we can do about a title bomb. That suit you? No. Well, why not? Rose and I are going to stay in Chicago. Found the store I've been looking for, and the price is right. The store? Yeah, our store. The radio store you've been wanting to own. You want to quit fighting? That's what you want, isn't it? What's eating you, Colt? Did you drop your buttons? Isn't that what you want, a radio store? Yes, but... But what? Well, can we afford it? Yeah, that Savella price wasn't too heavy, and O'Reilly didn't want the fight. I had to take the short end to get his boy in the ring for you. But with that under your belt, We why... did get ten grand, though, didn't we? Well, yeah, you was, you was figures about that. Maybe eleven. You got eleven in the bank? Colt, I... I haven't got eleven in the bank. Why not? Well, look, look, Coke. I... You knew I wanted to take Savella. I waited to take Savella, but you didn't think I could. Why don't you forget what Savella? What makes you think I need any help from you at all, in the ring or out? What? Well, didn't you need my help? Remember me? I I'm the guy that took you out of the mines. I took you from a shack in Cold Town to this, this suite in Chicago. Get out. Go on out and find yourself a new meal ticket, because you and I are all wrapped up. Okay. Okay, brother, I might do just that. Another thing, I'm going to send you right back to the mines, where you belong. Wait a minute, Coca. I put up the money to fix the fight, not George. I did it because I didn't want you to get hurt anymore. I wanted you to go on and get your title so you'd quit. Well, I was wrong. 
You'll never quit. You like it too much. You like to hear them scream for blood, and you like to give it to them. You like to get in there and beat a man to death. You like to kill. <laughs> Champ, I'm sorry. Champ, I'm sorry. I... Wait a minute, Coke. Wait a minute. Help me get him out of here. So it had happened, the thing I was always afraid of. It was all over. I never saw Cope, but he was around, and I knew who he was around with. And in spite of everything, I honestly hoped she could make him happy. I hadn't been much good at it. Coke, why don't you run out to Long Island for a couple of days? Montauk Point or somewhere like that. It's quiet there and you can sort of relax. I don't want to relax. I don't like the word, forget it. Relax? What's wrong with relax? I said forget it. It's forgot. Hi, Stanley. We're not eating. Scotch and water for the lady. Coke? Yeah? Today I was offered an assignment in Europe. I think I ought to take it. Suit yourself. Coke, you don't want me. You've got your mind all tied up with a lot of ancient history. A lot of other people. One in particular. And that's all right. She's always been best for you anyway. You can forget that, too. That one won't be so easy. Oh, well, Coke, remember me? I'm Mike Durant. I handled Danny Coslow, Irish Patty Dunn, Tony Jacobs, and a few other good boys. I beg your pardon. Smartest thing you ever did splitting with George. Now you can make yourself some real cabbage. Take me, for instance. Suppose I don't want to take you. <laughs> Always a joker, huh? I can book you into the arena for a go with Mickey Foreman and it'd be a sellout at a $50 top. You can book him into the arena? They wouldn't let you through the door. Hello, Coke. I'm Big Nose Cassidy. I see you in Chicago. When you stop Chevelli, do you mind shoving over just a little? Shove over. And I says to myself, Big Nose, there's a boy you gotta handle. Under you, he goes far with great quickness. You make him champ before the year is split. You make him champ? He couldn't make a cup of coffee. Oh, coffee it is. Oh, cool. Hello, Mr. Watkins. Uh, how would you gentlemen like to, uh, handle me? Huh? At the bar. Yeah, oh, sure, sure, sure. Right ahead. Come on. Sorry I'm late, Coke. That's all right. I just got here myself. What's so important you want to talk to me about? I need a manager. Well, you might try Joe Gardella. He's one of the best. I want you to manage me. Set your own percentage. Me? I'm a newspaper man. I wish you'd do it, Max. You're the only one I can trust. Oh, it wouldn't work. But I do owe you something, Coke. I hold myself responsible for your break with Rose and with George. Why? Savella took a dive and you knew it. You didn't. I could have taken him, Max. When I meet Mike Shea for the title, I'll take him. Maybe then even you'll believe I can fight. Maybe they'll believe it, too, that mob in the seats that boo their heads off every time I get into the ring. It hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. Strange, I never thought it would get to you. Why not? I bleed a little when I'm cut. What is it they want from me? I pay to see a fight, and I give it to them. All right, I... Oh, I go a little crazy sometimes when I'm in there going after a guy, but... They've got you pegged as a dirty fighter. And quite frankly, you are. The crowd doesn't like a man who'll do anything to win. When you're going after a guy, as you say, you know if getting him meant killing him, you'd do it. Why, I don't know. Do you? No. Not exactly. In a way, I do, but... But, but what? Well... When I'm in there, when I'm getting hit, it's as though I were fighting for my life. Go on. 
When I was with George in the mining towns when I was a kid, I was always big for my age. Much bigger than the other kids. When I tried to do anything, I was clumsy. They'd, they'd laugh. It bothered me. Got so I couldn't take it anymore. George kept telling me to forget about it, but I couldn't. Finally, I, I made a stand. It took on about ten of them. Before George could drag me off, I'd almost killed a couple of them. When he told me about it later, I, I was scared. Because I didn't remember anything about it. All I know is that I'd been fighting for my life. That's what happens when I get into the ring. This doesn't make much sense to you. You take Joe Gardella, and I'll be in your corner. And you win the championship. And I'll tell you something. You're not a kid anymore, Coke. One of these days, you're, you're gonna grow up and be able to face humiliation without wanting to kill. And I'll tell you something else. When you do grow up, it may cost you the title. he'd won his title. I hope they'd cheer him now that he was champion, and at last he'd feel that he could quit. But they didn't, and so he went on fighting. And now I knew he'd never quit. Coke was a fighting champion, the kind of champion who defended his title against all comers, all but one. Speedo Keep is the best in the heavyweight division, and the cleanest. You gotta give Speed a crack at the title, Max. He's ready for Coke. I'm not sure Coke is ready for Speed. <laughs> You're so right. Speed O'Keefe has forgotten more about fighting than Coke will ever learn. I agree with you. So you play cozy and won't give us a fight, huh? Is that your idea or Coke's? No, Coke's idea is to give you your fight. Well, then what's been holding it up? No, oh, just a notion Coke has. What, a notion he might lose his title? That's for you to figure out. All right, all right. You can tell Speed he's got himself a fight. Well, that's more like it. <laughs> Are you? Oh, excuse us, will you, fellas? Rose, what brings you to New York? I just wanted to look at you. I wanted to see how low a sports writer could get. Rose, what are you trying to say? You know what, the match with speed. It wasn't my idea. Oh, stop it. If you'd wanted to, he listens to you. But no, it's copy. Rose, you don't mean that. You know what can happen. You know it's got to happen someday. Coke is going to kill somebody. If you're thinking about speed, you're... Yes, I'm thinking about speed, and I'm thinking about Coke. You know what happened to them. You know what happens to Coke when he gets in the ring. Suppose it's speed that he kills. What then? Oh, go on, tell me. I'm wasting my breath because it'll make a swell story, and you'll feel just fine. Rose, Rose. Unless I'm wrong, Coke is going to fight a great fight. For something a lot bigger than the title. He's got to grow up, Rose. He's got to face it someday. And you've got to face it, too. Looks pretty sharp. Yes, sir, like a razor. Well, he better be. Well, what are you doing around here? Still a newspaper man, you remember? Well, you can quote me as saying Speed will take the trap in six. Do I use the word tramp? And be sure you spell it right. T-R-A-M-P. Okay, time. Hi, Mr. Watkins. Hey, you look good, Speed. Real good. Thanks. How's... How's tricks? Oh, fine, fine. I got a quote from George here. He says you're going to take the tramp in six. Anything to add to that, Speed? You can say the same for me. Only the word is champ. Be sure to spell it right, Mr. Watkins. I will, Speed. Uh, Mr. Watkins. Yeah? Tell Colby. Well, I know how he fights. And no matter what happens, or what has happened, I won't ever hold anything against him. I think Coke knows that, Speed.
Johnson to that ovation. There's been quite a contrast here tonight between those cheers for the challenger and the tremendous booing that the crowd gave the champion. Now, boys, you know the rules laid down by the Athletic Commission. I want a nice, clean fight. And Mason, champ or no champ, this goes for you. Keep all your punches in fair territory. In case of a knockdown, the standing fighter goes to the farthest neutral corner and stays there until I tell him, come out and resume fighting. Shake hands now and come out fighting at the bell. And good luck to both of you. to stay outside and sharpshoot. Changed his style. What did he do, Max? Leave his knife in the dressing room? No. Coke had a notion. Guess he's trying it out. Every dime we got in the world is riding on this one. Do you hear me? That all that's riding? He's running out of gas, and I don't think anybody at this ringside believes that for a minute. Or you can take this commentator's opinion for what it's worth. For the first time in his life, the champion is trying to fight a clean fight.
bell for the end of the 12th round. Mason Seconds are in the ring, helping him to his corner. They're working over him frantically. I told you to put him away, dear. Yeah, I told you to put him away. I tried, George. I hit him with everything I tried. And right now it looks as though only a miracle can prevent the crowning of a new heavyweight champion here tonight. And the answer seems to be that Coke Mason has not only fought a superb fight, a tremendous fight, but a clean one. that saved him. There's something strange about this crowd. When Coke Mason entered this ring tonight, he was booed as I have never heard a fighter booed before in my life. But they're not booing him now. Thank you. 